End of another college semester in the pandemic coming to an end, but the impact the virus is having on higher ed is a story we're still learning about. Today, SUNY Chancellor Jim Elatris testifying at the New York State Assembly Committee about where the SUNY system is heading and how far it's come. It is really difficult to change a big institution. But what we found because of the pandemic is when we need to, we can change at a moment's notice. But the chancellor says even while changing the pandemic still has taken its toll on SUNY enrollment. We saw about 29,000 students decline from fall of 2020 to spring of 2021. We think that was largely driven by how difficult it was to be in person, quite, quite frankly. And we can be honest and admit things. Our students survived last year being on campus. It wasn't a really fun experience, but we had to do the things we had to do to protect people from COVID. You don't want it? And help students, Chancellor Malatra says child care has been expanded in SUNY schools by paying students in early education to fill those gaps. $25 million has been invested into mental health programs. The SNAP program for food assistance has been expanded and application fees have been eliminated for low-income students. Take the average uh, student, they apply to about seven schools, that's $350. That they don't have. The chancellor also talking about ways the higher education system can include anyone who wants to pursue a degree while making diversity matter too. In the fall of 2011, 19.6% of our student body were underrepresented minorities. Today, it is 27% of our student body. So that is growing and growing. And the SUNY system is working to break out of the traditional model of higher education, focusing on the student and the best way they can learn in person, online, or in a hybrid format.